Hi, earlier we were talking about event budgets, you know, um, how to actually prepare that budget. And um, it's important that we lay out a sheet in order. So on your budget, you would say decor, and you list all your decor items, venue, all the items that you need for your venue, production, all the items you need for the production. If you have staffing, you need to list that as well any event fees, you need to itemize them and put them in, in, in sections so you can see exactly what each item is costing you. Once you complete that budget, you'll have that figure and that will let you know this is what this event is going to cost me. Now, you have to look, go back to the drawing board now and say, okay, is this too much? Um, am I going to take off some stuff? Um, how do I get some items sponsored? Maybe I don't use as many tents or maybe I don't go so detailed in decor. Uh, maybe I have to cut back how many people I'm going to invite. So the budget is very important to the final execution of that event because vendors must be paid. You need to know what the event is going to cost. If you're the event planner, your client wants to know what the event is going to cost because they're the ones that are probably going to be drawing the check and they're the ones that are going to pay the suppliers directly. So the budget again is what we want to discuss. Very important. If a client is hiring you to plan the event, I would suggest you get three quotes from different suppliers. Even if you use one supplier all the time and you can recommend that supplier and you want to use that supplier, I would still get three different quotes. I'd try and barter with the suppliers and I would hand all of those estimates over to the person, the client that is hiring you if you're being hired. And then they can choose, okay, I want to go with this one or I want to go with that one. Um, I want to spend this. And I think they should draw the checks directly to the suppliers. You should not have any interest in drawing checks to suppliers. Your interest is to get paid to your event planning and management. Now, if it is your event, you would have to pay all the suppliers and you would have to decide on when they get paid, whether it's a 50% deposit, the balance after. Some suppliers would want to get paid before, depending on the relationship we have with them. So that's part two on event budgets. I hope this is helping you a little bit, how to plan your event. Um, how to create that budget, how to do that spreadsheet. And then we can look at options again of actually how to create the spreadsheet if you'd like and show you some examples of different type of spreadsheets. I'm Peter Shaker from Event and Entertainment Services and we'll be happy to help you to plan your next event if you're not able to handle it on your own.